there's none over there. I don't know where else to look. Hmm. Oh, but don't worry, ma'am. Candles really aren't that important. I mean, well, they are, but not really that much. After all, Jesus never said anything about candles, did he? They look nice, but they don't really add anything to the power of prayer. After all, God can see in the dark. Did Angel ask you about the uh, health insurance matter? Oh, yes. I called my office and they said you better not get sick. That shouldn't be a problem. I stay pretty healthy. Good, because my HMO stands for Healthy Members Only. <laughs> I hope that's all right. I can pay you back the monthly deduction. Oh, is that the way it's going to be in the Claudio household? My money is mine. Your money is also mine. I am liking this. <laughs> Who knew it was going to be so profitable to marry a priest? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to. Oh, I am. From my previous marriage to the Archbishop. Oh, no, that was to the Cardinal. But that was back when my name was Lucretia. I just don't want you thinking. I'm trying to take advantage of anything. Oh, I will tell you. Trust me. Well, did Angela mention the stationery too? Uh, yeah, I'm sure those things are important, but I'd rather leave it up to you or, or to her. She seems to know her way around. Well, you're the priest's wife now, so something shouldn't be left up to her anymore. <laughs> yes, honey, but I'd rather focus on the fun stuff, like dressing you and packing your lunchbox. The thing is, when you leave work in the evening, your day's work's done. Mine never ends. Scary. I think everyone's keeping an eye on us. To see how we manage? Well, for models of what the church preaches. Oh, now you are really scaring me. You know, uh, my St. Lucy costume is still at the cleaners. <laughs> yeah, when we step out now, we're no longer Father and Mrs. Claudio. We're the poster couple for what a Catholic marriage should be. Well, Father Claudio, I'll be careful not to step on any cracks. Worked for my mother. <laughs> Stop worrying. I feel like we live in a glass house now. I'm not imagining it. Well, just as long as we get to pull the drapes occasionally. <laughs> hey, how about a toast? Did you get some wine? I, I didn't see any. Uh, you didn't look closely. When you live around here, you need to keep your eyes open. To our new life together with the woman I adore. To a perfect life with a perfect husband. Oh, good lord! Where did you get this? The wedding at Cana? You actually drink this? Every day, <laughs> courageously. Oh, tell me that consecration improves the vintage. <laughs> oh. So, the church feels the wife must play a subdued role in the parish. This is all very tentative, but initially we don't want to ruffle feathers, do we? We must make sure that our parishioners accept that new person by the priest's side. We don't want her at all functions, but we do want her at enough functions. We don't want her to be your co-pilot, if you will, but we do want her to be your flight attendant. You must remember that our parishes are firmly built upon traditions and the contributions of families that, in some cases, go back to the origins of the church and our community. We cannot afford to alienate those people. But we also don't want wifey to feel as if she's just there to clean house. The church certainly does not want to convey the impression that she's just a decorative figure. However, we also don't want spouses thinking that they can speak for you or replace you. Do you think they got this clearly? 
Did we? Any longer, so we are going. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Traffic was terrible. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm, I'm Captain Lightyear. Claudio. I guess you already know that. Uh, please to interrupt. Uh, just Mrs. Please. Claudio, uh, we have reserved a place of honor for you here. If you will do us the honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, <laughs> let's determine quorum, ladies. Mrs. Marino, if you please. We're all here. Read the minutes. Minutes for the October monthly meeting of the Catholic Daughters of America, chapter of the parish of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Lylesville. In attendance were Miss Gertrude Sunder presiding, Anita Moreno, recorder, Georgina Panera, Leticia Durenberger, Martha Burnside, Donna Macy, Alina Cortez, Agatha Casprick, Emma Jean Duckner, Tula Montoya, and Clotilda McGregor. Regular monthly meeting was held in the meeting room of the parish hall starting at 7 in the evening. The items for discussion were, number one, decorations for Thanksgiving church social. Number two, upcoming third Sunday, potluck. And number three, such as we have in mind. Now, of course, we need something that is elegant, more tasteful. And the dark blue that Elena suggested, and thank you, of course, Elena, is just too severe. Now, ladies, what we need is something in between those extremes. So, thank you. questioned or doubted God's promise. Rather, he was strengthened in faith and gave glory to God, fully persuaded that God could do whatever he promised. Thus his faith was credited to him as justice. This is the word of God. At this day and age, everything we do is important. But things have changed. Look at me. Who would have thought that one day I would be here as the priest's wife? Still, so much change and so many organizations seem to be, well, I don't want to say outdated because no women's organization anywhere can be outdated. Just maybe 